One other preoccupation uh, that I would like to pick is, is what we call uh, the megacity. It's, for me, an interesting preoccupation because I think it's not just big cities that are interesting. I think what is interesting is that now our economy uh, and our world in such an incredibly asymmetrical way concentrates in cities that it almost leaves nothing behind. I mean, you can say that um, when no more than 50% of the world lives in cities, it also inspires the questions, what is left behind? And you, and you get, a, in, in the current world, a very weird relationship between the megacity on the one hand and a kind of ever-growing hinterland, which is like the vacuum left in the wake of the city's uh, expansion. And I think very weirdly, we are globally moving to a condition of city-states, of a number of city-states. I mean, Moscow, uh, you know, is, 50% of the Russian or 60% of the Russian economy concentrates there, that you have the old Greek or Persian condition where actually the cities are a number of bottlenecks where the economy is acted out and in between you have a kind of almost shared hinterland with diffuse borders. I mean, in Russia you see an enormous influx of Chinese into Siberia at the, happening at the same time. So it's in a way another preoccupation is the kind of the, the, the city or the mega city and the hinterland left uh, behind and, and that kind of prevailing asymmetry and the kind of thinning of the hinterland on the one hand and the consolidation of the city not only as a city but almost as a new form of governance you know with uh, where planning in a way is as much governance as it is urbanism and I think one of our preoccupations is, is really that the mega city gives rise almost to a new discipline where which is neither urbanism uh, nor politics, nor governance, but something in between. And uh, I think the person of, like, Stefano Bueri, who has entered politics deliberately in Milan, is in a way an example of a new typology uh, and maybe a new relevance for architects in, in that sense.